Hi everyone, this is Deja from CrochetEverAfter.com and we are continuing our Fair Isle tutorials and right now what we are going to do is talk about how to create a clean color join when you're working in the round. Whether you're working a beanie or a cowl or any other project that's in the round, when you actually go to join it because you're not working in spirals, you need to make sure that your pattern looks good. So I'm going to show you how to create a join that's going to keep the pattern very clean so that when you look at it from any side, it's always going to look perfect. So many times in our Fair Isle patterns, it's going to have us change colors from one to another right at the join of our round. Now in order to make this a clean color join and make the picture or motif that we're making look good, you want to do a certain type of color change. So I'm going to show you the wrong way first so you can see why we shouldn't do it this way. And it's actually the correct way to do every other color change. So you would work up to your last stitch which we want in our main color, our MC, and then we want our first stitch which is this is where we're joining the first stitch of our next round in our contrasting color. So if we were doing a regular color change we would of course go up to the very last step for, step for our last stitch and join our new color and then we would join our round by inserting our hook into that first stitch slip stitching and then chaining one and then doing our first single crochet in the new color now the reason that we don't want to do our color change this way is because we're going to get this little spike of color in our previous round. Now it's not a horrible thing to have but it just doesn't keep your picture as crisp and clean and your seam as invisible as it could be if you perform your color change the correct way or the way that is less visible. And the way that you are going to do that is finishing off your last stitch with the same color. So we're in our main color. We just did the whole single crochet in our main color. Now we're going to join the round. This is where we're going to change our color. We're going to insert our hook into that first stitch so we can join the round. And then we're going to yarn over with our contrasting color. So we'll just drop off our main color, yarn over with the contrasting and pull it through pull it through to slip stitch and if you see my tutorial on creating invisible seams you'll know why I'm tugging down on these as much as I can. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to tug that down too and it'll make sense once you see that tutorial and then I'm going to do my first single crochet. And as you can see now we don't have that spike of yellow that we had earlier and it's going to give us a much better picture overall when our picture is complete because if we had that every single row you would start seeing a little kind of dash in your picture so this kind of helps keep it cleaner and that's the clean color change